Okay, so uh, now that we have uh, taken a look at uh, the three primitive kind of data uh, types, which is the Boolean string and number, uh, the uh, next uh, type of data type that we can define using TypeScript is the um, arrays, okay, and uh, tuples. So arrays are basically defined. So if you want to have a, so what happens with JavaScript is like if I have an array, which is um, of this type, let arr equal to, and I have this array which has one, and uh, then it has a string as well, and it has like a boolean as well. So what happens is like these kind of um, arrays are kind of um, heterogeneous in nature. Heterogeneous means that you know, um, if I uh, you know, I can keep on putting uh, data of different types. So if I arr zero is basically one. But if I uh, try to store a string here, that's possible. And uh, in the second spot uh, where there already is a string, if I want to store a number there, that's possible. Because in JavaScript, uh, the slots inside the array, each slot can contain a value of a different data type. Uh, it's, it's different from uh, strictly type languages like, uh, you know, Java where, you know, or in C++ or C uh, where, you set uh, an array of an integer data type so it means all the items of that array are going to be integers you can't put a string inside an integer array in one of the slots now uh, basic javascript arrays uh, do not have such a limitation uh, because uh, just like every variable can contain data of any type every uh, position of the array can contain data of any type as well but if you want to constrain that fact if you actually want homogeneous arrays like the ones that exist in uh, strictly type languages um, you can you know bring that about in JavaScript uh, if you define like if ARR is of type uh, you know um, number uh, array like this in that case if I start creating an array I can place numbers inside it uh, you know and uh, I can replace that with numbers as well like I can do ARR 0 equal to a different number but uh, you know I can't place a um, string into it uh, if I try to put a string in there so now it gets a uh, you know an error that you know type this is not assignable to type number and similarly like when I'm defining it in the first place itself uh, I can't actually place like a boolean or you know um, a string or something like that in that place uh, okay so that's how we define you know uh, arrays which uh, are of a homogeneous data type and uh, you know we'll have to put uh, only numbers inside uh, ARR now okay um, in fact, like with these kind of arrays, if you do array operations, like you can do arr dot uh, for each, uh, and inside for each, when you take like you know uh, x, uh, and you know uh, basically you do something with x, you know what's the data type of x? Actually, you can see that parameter x is of type number. That is something uh, here you're starting to see the benefits of um, you know TypeScript actually uh, coming to your advantage. Is that uh, you know uh, you can hover over x and you can see that what's gonna be the data type of x x is gonna be of number because this array is of this particular data type of uh, number array which means that every element inside arr is gonna be of number data type which means that if you do an arr dot for each operation then uh, the x is definitely going to be of the number data type so these kind of you know um, insights about the code is something that you start getting uh, when you start dealing with this now apart from, uh, so there's another way of also defining this, you can write the data type like this as well. Uh, so uh, defining the type as, you know, uh, uh, as uh, say a string like this and defining an array of uh, this type, right, uh, it's equivalent of defining it like this as well. So you can either define it with the square bracket syntax or you can define it with the, you know, um, array string, this kind of a syntax. So both of them are uh, kind of fine. Uh, generally, like in C++, this is the kind of syntax that you usually use. Even with Java, with primitive data types, this is the kind of syntax that you use. With um, languages like Kotlin, you use this kind of a syntax. Um, or uh, if, you, if you're if you using a, uh, you know, uh, one of the 
uh, uh, higher order data types in Java's uh, like array list and um, those kind of data types. So they're also uh, you use this kind of uh, notation, right? The generic notation. So uh, you can use either this notation or this notation and both of these notations mean the same thing. Okay. So string square bracket is the same thing as array angular bracket string. Okay. Um, so that's uh, basically uh, how we deal with um, arrays in uh, TypeScript.